reason why there's lead in the air there are three routes for lead to enter anybody's body one is respiratory we breathe in it goes into lungs goes to blood goes to every organ second ingestion we consume food water contaminated adulterated with lead because of you know water all over the country especially in some of the country, states like maharashtra karnataka we immerse ganesha idols painted ganesha idol is worshiped then we put it in water most of the ganesha idols 100% were painted a 2 kg weighing ganesha 2 kg weighing ganesha has something like 180 to 200 grams of paint we calculated and this paint had 12% lead that means every ganesha had imagine 14 to 18 grams of lead it was getting into water i and you don't drink that water who drinks that water cows buffaloes goat sheep poor animals and we consume those animals milk we get lead back to our system this has one of the roots through environmental pollution and this is directly absorbed by the intestine third root cosmetics hair dye i ask old people are you dying or dying i tell you those who dye their hair they damage they get a kidney damage renal damage because it's absorbed by the skin makeup materials i ask them if there's a shortage of attendance teachers will make up shortage of marks principal will make up if shortage of beauty only you should get a makeup everybody is beautiful why makeup all makeup materials including lipstick nail polish surma what they use in pakistan i had been to pakistan no i haven't but i know yeah i tell you hmm. it is lead and antimony sulfide what a dangerous thing we are giving it to children and of course hair dye cosmetics also is directly absorbed by the skin 100% preventable you know lead is sarvantaryami whether it is in india or mexico or in pakistan or in nepal it is there lead is there it was a sleeping giant in the ground we have brought him up in the form of mining excavation we use lead in the batteries but battery lead is very safe like your gas in the house in the cylinder will never explode lead in the battery is very safe but people who break that battery recycle battery they don't know they contaminate environment and soil water this is the problem we are facing lead is everywhere from different sources including traditional medicines i don't want to call it as a particular system of medicine it is a chinese system or indian system or mexican system or you, you, you know in our uh, arabia medicines are used traditional medicines containing lead henna hair dye you know that mm-hmm. and uh, in some of our uh, traditional medicines we have am i okay yeah we're good. okay we're good. in some of our traditional medicines what is happening you know mm. there is saptamrita loha loha should means metal sapta amrita loha seven amrita loha in that lead is there trivanga basma lo lead is there naga basma nothing but lead maha yoga raja gugulu loaded with lead i tell you we have more than 100 medicines we have published paper in jama journal of the american medical association on some of the traditional medicines sold in america on internet containing very high amount of lead cadmium and mercury this is the problem all over the world then we went to ministry said please don't add tetraethyl lead to our petrol that is the main source of lead so all these data that you are getting all the contamination you are getting the the primary source of that was uh, petrol. petrol we thought okay. at that time petrol is the main source petrol is the main source mm. then we went to find out why we are getting tetraethyl lead as an antinoc who is funding that then we found world bank was giving money to buy tetraethyl lead we went to world bank requesting them why do you have dual policy you don't allow america europe and australia to use tetraethyl lead why this developing countries we are killing our children see iq then they realized they issued a letter if developing countries do not introduce unleaded petrol by 2003 because we had international conference in 1999 where we announced this is the situation in 2000 by 2003 years time they gave to make 
petrol lead safe not lead free there is no lead free petrol even fossil fuel petrol has lead natural lead we want a lead safe not lead free by stopping adding tetraethylene so is there any purpose of lead in petrol yes it was an anti knock in old engines mm. but now the modern engines never required that why add it has become a habit industrial habit when they could buy they could sell they could manufacture you know we could do without that then i tell you when the letter came from world bank immediately some of these governments acted within 3 months all over india there was unleaded petrol unleaded petrol unleaded petrol but same time when i traveled to nepal by road when i came here to petrol bank they had leaded petrol i said where do you get it from from india i tell you we had unleaded petrol but we were supplying lead leaded petrol to this country of course that has stopped now nepal all over we have unleaded petrol this is how the whole thing started and the project completed in 2000 then there was nobody to support continuation of the project we had equipment then we used the equipment to phd students md students and we established a center called national referral center for lead projects in india lead poisoning in india we called it national referral center for lead poisoning in india and uh, india lead zinc development association of battery association they invited me to give a talk and they made a request please don't use lead as a poison because we are using lead in battery the moment you say poison it may affect the battery industry mm. then we, we you change the title national referral center for lead projects in india and we established 48 centers now i think 56 centers are there all over the country to measure the blood lead level of people and uh, i tell you the battery lead is one of the safest lead contained lead unless somebody breaks the battery in public and makes this contaminating the soil and uh, air and uh, water this is how the project started and uh, coming to other sources we again repeated the blood lead level it was still high not as high as what was there in 1999 it was still high we wanted to find other sources paint mm. i tell you in india we manufacture paints many companies are there and uh, we have paints containing lead content up to 40000 ppm parts per million 40000 globally speaking it should not be more than 90 ppm but in our country we had now 40000 ppm thanks to nepal they were one of the first countries to introduce lead safe paints ramcharit was has worked very hard i know him you people here have worked very hard i tell you we wanted to bring down the lead content in the paint it was difficult i called the under the quality uh, council of india i was an advisor and uh, in fact we created massive awareness amongst teachers more than 15000 teachers were given awareness they were made leaders led educators we told them about led leader means led educator l e led educator they trained their children in a year 500 children each teacher 515000 multiplied a lot of people came to know about that now we want to tell them paint is another source now now they should be conscious about the lead content in the paint even the green paint you know for example like somewhere there, there's a piece pencil. of pencil no there there's it's right there in front of you ah okay. this pencil mm. in nepal yeah painted green green is no longer uh, environmental friendly green this green contains very high amount of lead so is it like particular to the color of the pencil or in general yellow paint? yellow has highest okay level. school buses are painted yellow all over the world oh yeah yeah and children travel in the school bus playground yellow and red all the play mm-hmm. kits yellow and red yellow yeah. has the highest amount of lead green has high level of lead and uh, though permissible level is 90 ppm it was more than 4000 5000 up to 40000 that's insanely high amount of very high amount mm-hmm. and children play they eat biscuit yeah. and uh, you know uh, yeah. without washing hands the lead goes into their system is there any purpose of having lead in pen paint yeah yeah lead is a wonderful metal i love that mm. metal when lead is there in the paint it gives shine okay gives longevity mm. doesn't get when in the paint in a submarine with lead based paint it will never get corroded the the <coughs> 
in the ship they carry a lot of materials in a, what is called um, uh, containers mm -hmm. those containers black containers painted with black has a lot of lead it never gets in fact i built a house with using two containers it has a lot of lead i know now that lead is safe it doesn't come out unless it peels off when okay. it peels mm. there is a, a very possibility of that getting into dust dust is another major source we have today awareness massive awareness thanks to nestle company mm -hmm. when maggi was found containing lead because of some masala and turmeric powder adulterated with lead chromate i tell you what uh, some of us could create in the country for 15 years awareness 10 times that they created within 6 months it was a massive news even in nepal we we all yeah. heard about it and uh, how did you figure out that maggi had lead content <coughs> because it? some children had high blood lead level they were consuming okay. maggi all the time we okay. could uh, correlate it with that there's no other substance had lead mm. this was uh, uh, the main source you know that's how we found mm. we can we can find out the root cause of analysis uh, after root cause analysis we can find the source this mm. is how we found in fact i must tell you in temples famous temples you know balaji temple tirupati temple yeah and tirupati temple when you walk in you will find stone slabs between stone slabs that put concrete concrete used to come out very frequently because they do a lot of washing one of the cleanest mm. temple then somebody suggested you put lead in between they started melting lead and sealing between the concrete slab that they were washing and all the water was going into the well there inside to pull it out to make tirupati that prasad what is that called you know no laddu uh -huh, yeah i called it art laddu laddu lead content was <laughs> high those days of course i gave them the suggestion that they should replace this lead uh, by epoxy so that we can protect children you know then uh, there are various other sources not only cosmetics not only the uh, paint not only the gasoline we can take care of all that pencils you know this pencil is always when i look at it i think of a child we choose the pencil and some amount of lead definitely gets into the child yeah. why paint pencils can a small country like nepal can they not introduce unpainted pencil to everybody with one one notification i know it's difficult for a big large democracy like india nepal can do that they can stop importing painted pencil they might what they can do i know they can earn money saying that if you want to import painted pencil pay penalty huge money to the government we have to take care of the health of our population then if you get wooden finished pencil like many countries have that will give an opportunity for a child to be more creative they can paint they can do something they can huh? pencil one end is used to write the other end to chew i tell you any child pencil you go and examine the other end is all chewed like as if it's a chocolate i used to do, do the same when i was a kid uh, <laughs> i i told people if einstein were to be born in india he would not have got no got <laughs> you know i may be wrong in saying that but i know the lady reduces iq he had a very high iq yeah a good yeah. environment how many children in nepal india are losing this opportunity how how did you figure out the correlation between lead and iq i did not do lead and iq study was done by needleman okay needleman is a great um, scientist we collected all this data from different uh, people's work and we correlated and we found we used the data to solve the problem enough data is available on the earth if you go to google and search lead poisoning lead toxicity you get um, enormous amount of data is there a mes measurable amount of uh, decrement in iq that's correlated yes, yes, with that lead that has been done okay. that has been done yeah yes that is there how, how what what does it mean that as lead the blood lead IQ? level goes up mm -hmm. the lead goes into the brain yeah. gets deposited okay. and then the cognitive functions are disturbed and child's iq is reduced does that happen in adult as well or or the developing brain <coughs> in developing phase but okay. in adults what happens it goes and gets accumulated in the bone liver kidney causes it doesn't spare any organ in the body so it's like a slow working poison in the slow long poison. run slow i mean like it's going slow definitely poison. going to manifest but nobody will know you know yeah 